Hey everybody, it's Kelsey here and I'm just going to share with you um, the steps that I take in order to keep my nose piercing clean. And basically what you're going to need is a clean cotton ball, um, a clean Q-tip, and something that's microwavable, something like this. This is, um, I got actually got this from Red Lobster because I used to work for them. This is what they put their sauce in. So anything like this will do. And you're also going to need um, some type of antiseptic cleaner. A lot of people use sea salt and they'll um, make a solution and put it in water or something like that. But um, what I use is Claire's Ear Care Antiseptic. And this is really good. Even I know it says ear, but it's also good for your nose. So, um, yeah. So what, what you're going to do is you're just going to, I already have some in here, but you're going to pour some of this in here and then put this in the microwave for about no more than 10 seconds because I had this in for 10 seconds and it was really hot. So no more than 10 seconds. And then what you do is you take your cotton ball and you dip it in here and get it nice and soaked and you hold it on your piercing. Just moving it around to make sure that the solution gets inside of your actual piercing. And another thing you can do is you can turn your piercing. You always want to make sure that you that you turn your pierce your um, ring around frequently. You never want to just um just leave it alone because if you do um, you might your skin might just start might start to grow around it and you don't want that to happen so and once you feel confident enough that you have the outer side cleaned you want to take it to the inside and that's what we have the q-tip for so you get some more of your solution And this is the nasty looking part. You want to push down your piercing. And if your hands aren't clean, you might you clean your hands before you do this also. But um, you want to just push your piercing. Or you can use a cotton ball to push it down like this. And just take the, um, the Q-tip and just like swipe it around the piercing. And you're pushing this down so that... It's that it sticks out as much as possible inside of your nose and you can clean the actual um, the stick part of it. And that's basically it. You just want to make sure that you keep up with that and that you do that often. Because um, I've had my piercing since November or December of 2007 and now it's June so I mean July so I've had it for a couple of months and I still make sure that I clean it at least four times a week at least and another thing I want to talk about is um, how to remove nose studs that have the um, the balls on the end and they typically look like this Let's see if you can you see how they have the little ball here um, a lot of times when people put these kind in their nose as opposed to um, the hooked nose rings, um, they'll have trouble taking the, taking the piercing out because the ball will get stuck inside of your piercing or inside of your hole, I'm sorry, or anything like that. Um, the easiest way I can say to get it out is um, if you don't, if you know you're not going to want the nose ring anymore or anything like that, just take a pair of um, nail clippers and you would have to um, go up inside of your nose and clip it out. I've seen people do that before, but the way I do it, um, for me, I'm not sure why I'm different, but it doesn't really hurt too bad. It doesn't get stuck or anything like that. Um, mainly because I, I twist it daily. I twist my piercing daily. And I know sometimes when I'm pulling it out, when I'm trying to get it out, and it'll get stuck in the middle of my um, hole. And it'll feel like if I keep going, my nose will fall off. That's how it feels. But in reality, you're going to feel a little pain. But if you just let it relax for about 30 seconds, the pain should let up. And you should be able to just 
you know, quickly just take the rest out. And it is going to hurt, but, um, I mean, the pain is temporary. And that's the, the, the price you pay for having a nose piercing. So, um, basically, just try to take your time, but don't take too much time with it. But just remember what I said about twisting it daily, because that does help a lot. But, yeah, um, so that's basically it. And if you all have any questions or concerns, then just send me a message. Let me know what's up. So, um... I hope to see some of you on my next videos. Bye!